Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I was wrong. I apologize for being wrong. I'll tell you the reasons behind why I was wrong and the whole story in this video. So to cut to the chase, we're talking about the Chevy Silverado and the GMC Sierra, whether or not they have a transmission oil cooler. This is a system that uses coolant to come in to cool the oil temperature down to between 175 and like 200 degrees when you're towing. That way it keeps the transmission cool, the seals and the clutch parts from overheating. Now I got misinformation from Chevy on this and I'll kind of explain why it is, but I want to take a step back and tell you the reason I was diving into this story was the Toyota Tundra does not have a transmission cooler anymore and I'll link to that video above. I explain what happened there and the reasons for doing it. Now there's a lot of talk about synthetic uh, ant or automatic transmission fluid. There's talk about different oil temperatures. There's a whole thing happening in the industry right now that I'm keeping close watch on. So when I did that Toyota Tundra story, I reached out to Ram, Nissan, Chevy, and GMC and Ford to get their statement on whether their truck had it or not. It's one of those things that you go to their build sites and you can't really tell. It doesn't list as an option or even list it at all on some of those truck sites. And so when I came back with information from the PR reps was that Ford had one, that Ram had one, that Nissan had one, and that Chevy and GMC didn't have one. About a couple weeks, about a week goes by, and I get emails from like guys like Terrence, who sends me photos of his truck, I'll put it on the screen, and he's showing me the transmission oil cooler. He's like, I've been a mechanic for many years, what the heck, you got this wrong? And I was like, hey, Chevy told me this, and then you said that, so I'm trying to piece it out. And so about sometime last week, I had the, my Chevy rep and I talking on the phone, and he apologized in that the information was kind of, it just wasn't accurate, and here's why. When he, I emailed them, I said, hey, do you guys have an uh, auxiliary transmission oil cooler. And thinking that it's an additional part like Toyota has, Toyota offered it in their towing package for Sequoia and Tundra until 2019. And so he forged on engineering, engineering come back and they said no. And so I thought it was kind of strange. So I just typed it up that way and did a video on that. Unfortunately, you can't edit videos. So I had to take that video down. So if you're looking for it, it no longer exists. But I edited my, so I edited my story and, he, and I said, you know, what happened? He says, well, when I said auxiliary, engineering took that as, for a fact, auxiliary. They don't offer, and Chevy and GMC do not offer an auxiliary transmission oil cooler on the 1500s. They do have one, but they consider it standard equipment. So there's the difference. If I would have said, if you, do you guys have a standard transmission oil cooler on your trucks? They would have come back and said yes. But because I said auxiliary, engineering took that literally, which is what engineers do, and they that's the crux of the problem. So I'm sorry to mislead you. I'm sorry I was wrong. But yes, if you're looking for a new Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra, they do have an, a, a standard transmission oil cooler on there. There is no auxiliary. It's a standard transmission oil cooler. And so that means that Toyota, Toyota with a Tundra is the only manufacturer that does not offer a transmission oil cooler. Now, if you're curious, you didn't watch that video, Toyota says for a couple of reasons. First, they went out testing on their truck and they come to find out that they didn't need it. They're still meeting the temperature ranges they felt comfortable with. And we've done some videos with different owners and that ranges go from like 220 to like 250 when you're towing. But that's still below the 280 degree threshold that their new oil or, you know, people argue with this WS or whatever they call it, this new transmission fluid they're using gets 280 degrees. I don't know what Toyota's calling it, but that's what, that's what the deal is. Now this is similar to Valvoline Max Life that has a 280 degree cap as far as um, temperature. I also got further clarification, and there is an update here. In 2019 and 2020, they made some changes to how the engine power is delivered. And they also said as well, I'll put a statement kind of on a screen that talks about the changes they did with that engine and transmission that allows them to get away from the transmission oil cooler. So, so they got rid of the transmission oil cooler. They still have some cooling going on to their transmission, but people who have taken their cell phones and doing their OBD2 sensor application on a cell phone are able to see temperatures and the temperature is much higher than, well, most of it has been led to believe. And so that's created the crux of the problem. So there you go. Long story short, doesn't have it, doesn't look, doesn't look, look like it's gonna have it in the future. Um, the Tacoma, I'm hearing rumors it got rid of it, but I haven't confirmation of that. I can't get confirmation there. So there's a big story. So end of the day, I was wrong. I followed up with them. Miscommunication. I apologize getting out to you, but I made this video to, again, 
follow up, communicate. This is what's going on. This is what I learned. And so let me know below. You know, let me know your questions. Email me at timpickuptrucktalk.com and any follow-up questions things you guys have. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let's check out this video over here. It's a good time. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.